Hey guys, my name is Cindy Egg, and welcome back to another episode of Restaurant Tycoon, where there's been another update. Man, last episode, guys, there was the update for the drive through which is killing it right now. I'm just going to say, if you want to make some serious cash money moolah, get a drive through in your restaurant. It's must. It's needed. You gotta get it, guys. You legit gotta get it. But it's been another update. We now got this thing where we can now hire, um, where is it, new world star chefs. Which I'm not sure how that works or how it's going to play. Does it mean we get more chefs than what we currently got? If that's the case, then I need some more, you know, cooking areas. I don't know how it's going to work. And also, if you can hear right now, there's a little bit of background noise. They've added, like, some ambiance into the restaurante. So, as always, then, with these new updates, normally comes with having a few new items in IKEA. So, I'm pretty interested and excited to find out about that. How is my, uh, my service speed is 1. Right, we'll give that time to increase and get looking good. So let's get all the way to Ikea. And let's see what they got for us. Hopefully they got some good stuff. Hopefully they got some good stuff today. Uh, we see what there is. So, ooh, jazzy. I'm liking it. So normally you see the, the, the new stuff appear upstairs. I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's some new stuff. I'm quite excited for it. I need to get the manager thing as well, don't I? So anything new popping out? I don't think there's anything new that's catching my eye straight away. But we do need to do some kind of upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, sofas, you have to buy the pieces separately. Nice, we can build some sofas, that would be cool. So what do I go for? You know you boys got to go for this kind of uh, double monitor setup there. I'm going to purchase that. Get that all up and running. Because what I need to do is, I need to, oh, basically I want to adjust how the restaurant is. Because we got space either side. And I'm thinking, now we're adding in this uh, kind of manager desk in a sense whatever you want to call it we kind of have to uh change the layout a little bit we're gonna change it up gonna make it look good so any anybody drop any checks yet i don't know if they have i kind of want to put like uh, let's go into the build mode uh, remove our store furniture now i don't know if i'm going to have to uh, let's finish that up uh finish done how do i work us is it the teriyaki chefs? How do I know which is which? Stop working? You're busy, busy doing something. How do I know which is which now? Uh, stop working. Oh no, it's that dude over there. Okay, you're on the grill. Am I placing down? Oh no, I've stopped too. Right, start working. Right, we'll, we'll get this right. A restart. There you go. So, we've got the drive through chefs, Italian, Japanese, and Indian. Uh, it's got to be the Chinese, right? No. Italian, no. They're both busy. So, it could be these two dudes. Right, stop him. Stop him. Yeah, it's both those two. Right, it's only solely because uh, in the build menu, uh, to remove and store furniture, and we store both of those. I think everybody's changing what they want now because I've now removed those stuff. So, the teriyaki stuff, I'm going to drop that down there. And the other teriyaki section. Drop that down there. So yeah, this is pretty... How do I then do the rest of this? Do I have... Oh, we got the, oh the manager's desk. That's what, another thing I need to place in. Now that's like... That's weirdly free long, isn't it? So if I turn turn it like that, or place it against it, would that... Hmm. i got some very tough decisions to make right now. Right, just for, just for now, I'm going to place it there. Right, do I have any other walls to use? I don't think I do. Let's finish that up then. Right, let's finish that. So I need to get some more walls to go like uh, long here and connect up with these, maybe? I don't know. It's quite interesting, like, what I'm actually doing in here. Bam! We clicked in those 30 smack and bronies. So let's start work and place one down. Start work and place one down. So with this new system then, to find a new world star chef. I think you can find two. I think that's what it is. So let's, whoa, what's this? Okay. Um, can I move all this? Okay, so it's either Europe or Asia. So, seeing as your boy's from Europe, let's start there. Whoa, what is this? Hold on, guys. Right, select three dishes. Okay, okay, I'm selecting three dishes. What we got? Anything from the UK? I'm not looking, I can't see anything from the UK. But I'm going to try and go for some really good stuff that I like, like uh, tapas. Like a little bit of tapas. Going to select that. Maybe, uh, let's see, some waffles from Belgium. Ooh. Some beef stroganoff from Russia. 
Uh, croissant, get croissants out of my face. I ain't about that life. Paella from Spain, cinnamon roll from Sweden, crepes from France. Now I do like kebab. Kebab is good, so I'm gonna select kebab. I gotta pick one more. One more to go. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we go for some smoked salmon. That sounds quite fancy, right? Let's finish it up. We're gonna um, bail. Is he now hired? The European chef start working. I gotta drop him down somewhere, haven't I? Right, let me cancel that. Does that mean then? Wait, does that mean I could fit in another kitchen area here? This means my whole kitchen area is going to get changed dramatically. Let's collect all this money. Wow, my kitchen area is going to get changed so dramatically now. Okay, I'm going to hire... Uh, right, I'm going to hire another one. And by hiring another one, I mean I'm going to go to get buy two kitchens. What's this anyway? Well, it's, uh, well, it's like coins, isn't it? Guys, this is so cool. This is so cool now. Now yeah, you get this kind of stuff. I wonder what the uh, the Asian chef is going to be like. Which one's more, by the way? High quality, best quality? High quality. Purchase. Two of those. Got two of those bad boys. We're going to take it back now. We're going to do some rearranging of the kitchen area. What's service? Service speed is now 4.2. We're working We're working on it, guys. We're working on getting it good. So build. We're going to build. We're going to place down now two of these best quality kitchen areas. Why can't I get this one down? And I'm hoping that's not going to affect anything. So, so let's see. Okay. So workers start working here. Boom. Whoa. Wow. Chef Luigi, is that a world star chef? Yes, Luigi. Yes, it is. What a great way to increase the range of food you serve in your restaurant. Every time somebody orders a special dish, you will earn one world star coin. Okay. You can use the world star coin to unlock more of these dishes. Nice. Right, somebody order these world star dishes. Bam, we're getting those big tips coming in now, guys. We're getting those big stat tips coming in. Nice. Man, his kitchen's so weird right now. I'm going to do some really fun, cool design or rearranging to get this all set up now because it's quite weird, isn't it? It is quite weird. Collect those stacks. My world star chef looking pretty handsome. So how do you do this manager stuff then? Click here to use computer. Restaurant reviews. There's nothing there at the moment. Advertising. Advertising will add to your uh, revenue. Coming soon. Whitelist. Ah, oh, you can whitelist people in restaurant reviews. Oh, here are the reviews. Nice. Uh, okay, so saw this restaurant being advertised in a local newspaper. At first, I didn't expect much, but the menu variety were outstanding. Super restaurant. Everyone's happy. Anybody sad? Uh, this is a new restaurant in town. I don't need you review restaurants, but overall the quality of the outstanding. Wow, everyone's saying good stuff about the restaurant. That's kind of cool, isn't it? That's legit kind of cool. I'm liking this computer system. I am the manager with a world star chef. This is cool. It's legit cool. So let me check the menu then. So I take it we got a ah oh, world star foods tapas kebab. And so oh, the, the kebab is the biggest selling one or the highest price at nine dollars. That's cool. How does that affect the um the rating? Oh, we got some money to click there. So menu Oh my goodness me guys. T take a photo right now. We're legit a five star restaurant. That's the first time it's ever happened. I mean it's gonna it'll probably get down in just a moment, but five stars. Legit five stars right now. Ain't nobody stopping your boy with his five star restaurant. Boom. Collect all that money. So, I'm going to write this out. So, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine areas to cook food. Hmm. That's going to be pretty interesting to try and, to, basically, to try and figure out a way to squeeze them all in. I may have to come up with something uh, quite genius. I don't know how it's going to fly. But it should be good. Well, I'm just going to quickly check out the drive through section. Uh, I've got a lot of money to collect. I mean, I know you auto-collect it anyway, but I like collecting. 
Cash Money Moolah. Boom. Nice. Beautiful. Incoming. So yeah, this is going to be quite weird. I'm waiting for someone to order a World Star food. Can somebody order some World Star food, please? I want to get a World Star coin. So how I'm going to probably do it then is put like the two kitchen areas back to back and not do lines of stuff. Make it quite an, quite an open restaurant in a sense. That, that should be pretty interesting. I'll try it on the one side. <gasps> kebab! Kebab! There we go. Kebab, kebab, kebab. Kebab is something different. That's kebab. Well, in the UK, it's called kebab. Uh, so someone has just had some kebab. Who had the kebab? Who is eating the kebab right now? I will find you! Wait, are they outside? No, who's eating the kebab? Wait, well, weren't that? <coughs> Was it these guys? No. Who's eating the kebab? Is it these guys? No! Hmm. Interesting. He's got sushi. I seen someone eat kebab. But I see nothing. I legit see nothing. It's kind of weird. Right, what I'd do is I'm going to now kick everyone out quickly and close the restaurant down. Uh, oh, there we go. Workers. Can I upgrade? Oh, you can. Oh, let's. Hey, have I got enough? Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the Mexican chef and stop everyone from working right now. Everyone has, we've got so many um, workers, it's just like unreal. Um, okay, so build, remove, store the furniture. I'm going to store all these walls, walls to begin with. Nice, and get rid of that. Might as well store these two. So I've got such a big open area to now work with. So I've got, I've got to be able to create something really good, haven't I? I? I should be able to. Right, build. Where's the where's the where's the kitchen areas? Um, the best quality counter. So I kind of want to do it like uh, like a little a cool system like that there. And how many is that away? That's free. That's free away from that wall. Like that. So, I've got two remaining. So, if I do one there and one there. And then we have the teriyaki grills. One here. And the table can go here. And the other one goes there. It just means that... Oh, this can be like the reception area, can't it? As they walk in. It's, it's just awkward that it's off-centered. And then we're just missing the barbecue, which I'll drop down here. Like that. That should be that, that should be a fairly okay kitchen area. I don't know how it's gonna fly. Right, we're gonna start working. Uh, what was that first? Um, British chef here. We'll go for the American chef right next to him. They can be best buds. The Indian chef can go there. Japanese chef can go here. Uh, barista, one there, two there. Uh, waiter, start working. Okay, we start working the waiters as well. Get everyone working. Uh, two dry food workers down. Mexican chef. Uh, you can go in the teriyaki section. Another barista. Uh, Chinese chef goes here. Indian chef there. European chef, the killer world star chef, goes there. We're missing a barista. How many baristas? i got three baristas. Hire a female barista. There we go. Start working there. And level you up. Nice. Right, let's open the restaurant back up then. Right, this is good stuff. I mean, it's quite a weird design. Wait, I need... Wait. Did I accidentally, like, fire some of them? We've got European. We've got Italian, Chinese, Mexican. Um, barista, Japanese, Indian, British. Right, chef. I don't have a Greek one. So let's hide the Greek dude. Start working on the barbecue. There we go, upgrade. We need 50 diamonds to go to the next level. So we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. I've earned an award as well. For the Europe Award. I think I've like hired all European chefs. But yeah, that's not too shabby, is it? 
Come on, we've got people coming in now. We've got money to collect. Nice, nice, nice. It's a weird setup, but I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping it works. And you can kind of think of this as like being the reception area as you walk in and like speak to like um. Like, you get that in restaurants, don't you? Like, you speak to, like, whoever's working there. What are they called? What are they called now? Um, they have a, they have a certain name who stands at the beginning. It's not the receptionist. It's not that. They have, like, a... Is it, like, the Matreon? Seniac throwing out these big words like this. Who even are you, you fool? But it's looking good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So, which leads us on, like, towards next episode. I still need to upgrade the outside and expand it a little bit. This is not the finished article. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area. Uh, we'll see how things change. I do actually need to drop some chairs down there. So we'll see how things change. If you guys got any suggestions on how we can improve it, let me know in the comment section uh, down below. But he's cooking chili con carne. And at some point, we should get a world star coin. What are the reviews saying? Oh, so many reviews. I can't wait till this stuff comes too. But damn. Super speedy. I mean... I mean, if we had that at the beginning of our restaurant being built, I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure we would have had some terrible reviews. Some terrible reviews. But no, it's looking all good. Let's put the sign. Are we, am I still a five? I feel like because I closed the restaurant down, it's no longer a five. No, it's a 4.9. But for a brief period, it was a five-star restaurant, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you want to see more Restaurant Tycoon, we've almost, almost completed it. There's more updates keep coming out, which is really, really cool. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. Listen. <laughs>